Today, I'm going to show you one of the first magic trick that I learned way, way back when I was in primary school. That's where I learned this magic trick. Now, check this out. This is the charcoal. And I will put this dirty charcoal and just scrub it on it and voila, you see the magic. At the end of this Sunday school class, I'm going to teach you how to make this. I'll tell you the secret of the magic so you can do it for someone else. Are you ready? Welcome to Tony Clown Sunday school class. Happy New Year to you. It's good to have you this year. This is 2024. Oh, I've missed you all. Did you miss me? Aww, thank you. The series we are still treating is called The Wilderness Way. Today's foundational stone is discernment. Discernment. Wait, 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 wait. Before we say anything further, let us open the scriptures. So, for the scriptures, I have to take off these glasses and put on yes the orange glasses so i can see very clearly you get right uh -huh. we'll be reading from psalms 119 verse 130 wow fun facts about the bible psalm 119 is the bible chapter that have the longest verse yes now you know so let's read the revelation of your word brings light and gives understanding to the inexperienced huh. so now let's do a quick review on all the foundational stones that we've talked about last year the first one is the cornerstone and who is the cornerstone jesus now the second one is truth the word of God is what? The absolute truth! Followed by obedience. Oh, it was to what? Blessings! And the next one is love. Yes, the greatest kind of love is what love? Tell me. Good. Agape love. Glory is when you live for Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. Living for Jesus Christ brings glory to God. Wisdom is a gift from God. If we have been putting all these foundational stones together in our life and living by it, they start forming our behavior, and this will result into discernment. So, to Nicola, what is discernment? I'm going to tell you. Discernment is just wisdom in action. Wisdom in action. Tony Clown, why do I need discernment? You need discernment for two major reasons. One, to make tough decisions. Yes, very, very difficult decisions. If you want to make those decisions, you need discernment. And the second one, to make good judgment, you need discernment. So, it's time for practical. Are you ready? I am going to show you an example of where you need discernment and how to come out of it. Let's say you are in school and it's exam period. You have your answer script with you. You started answering the question and you got to question number 17 and you were stuck. And like, whoa, what am I going to do? And the devil dropped it in your mind that, boom, go ahead and cheat. Nobody will know. What do you do? If you've really, really been going along with me from the beginning of this series, this is what you do. The first thing you do is... The first foundational stone, which is the cornerstone. Jesus Christ is the cornerstone, is the foundation of your life. 
So everything you do must be based on what will interest Jesus, on what Jesus will like. And how will you know what Jesus like? It's actually from the Bible. Yes, that's where you find the absolute truth. The Bible says you should obey authorities, right? Remember when I talked about obedience, I talked about obeying authority. So you have to obey the authority. I believe that in your school, there will be something like no cheating. Yes, do not cheat. No side talk. You hear those instructions when you are writing your exam. So the next thing you ask yourself is, am I obeying the authority if I cheat? You see, the foundational stone is working for you. And the next thing you do is you just want to give God glory. So if you are cheating, will that bring glory to God? No, it won't bring glory to God. Do you know that if you cheat, you are not showing love to someone beside you? Mm -hmm. That is not how God loves. Yes, you are not supposed to... You are not supposed to stretch, stretch your neck to look at somebody else's hard work and copy it, then use it as your own. It's very, very wrong. If you do that, you are not showing love to that person. And the next one is this. Since you don't know what to do, you have something you can do, which is ask God for wisdom. Remember, when I taught you about wisdom, all you need to do to get wisdom is to what? Ask God. You see, I've used all the foundational stone to help you out to get this decision right. Mm -hmm. Discernment will help you to be able to put into action all these foundational stones we've been talking about. I want you to pause this video. Pause this video so you can check out this challenge. Pause it, pause it, pause it. Good. Did you get it? Yes. So, solve that. Send it to the number on your screen and i'm going to give you 10 points 10 points goes to every family that attempts this 10 points goes to you send it to me before wednesday the foundational stone we'll be talking about next week is this i believe you're going to like it always tell your friend to watch tony clown sunday school class hmm? so that they too can Enjoy what you are enjoying, and it's time to say bye bye. Say bye bye, bye bye. Say bye bye, bye bye. Bye bye. Here is the secret behind the magic trick. It's very simple. This is it. Um, you write whatever you want to write. With this, oops. Uh, <coughs> Okay, so when you're done writing what you want to write, you dust it, you dust it, this is what I'm doing, then you put your hand in the charcoal, yes, make sure the charcoal is very smooth, yeah, mine is not so smooth, but we manage it, oops, but well, let me just do this instead, to make it interesting, so you just rub it on it, you rub it on it, you rub it on it, you rub it, 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 oops, aha, then, oops, oops, ta-da, so what's this, Tony Cloud, <laughs> so this is how you do it.